Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good How evening, are you? Teacher. Hello, welcome, welcome. How are you today? How was your day? How do you feel today? Are you Hi. Hello, welcome, welcome. How was your day? Busy, but good. Busy, why busy? What did you do today? Hello, Andrea, welcome. Hello, Byron, welcome, welcome. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Nuria. Hello, hello. 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 Welcome, Peter, welcome. I can enter to the platform. Really? Why? What happened? I don't know. I sent some screenshot yesterday, but I don't have answer. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we have Paola here. Maybe Paola can help you. Uh, Paola, can you help Andrea? She doesn't have access to the uh, platform. Hola, buenas noches. Este, sí, escríbanos. Okay. Eh, ya le voy a dejar mi número. Thanks. Bueno, en, para que me pueda escribir. Y... Thanks. Excellent, excellent. Hello, Luis. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Hi. Nayeli. Hi, good welcome. Evening. Good evening, good evening. Welcome back. Hello, Angel Isaac. Hello, Eileen. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I would like for you to tell me what do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we talk about yesterday? What were some of the topics? What do you remember? Uh, yesterday we talked well, about a question and response about uh, past tense. Mm -hmm. In okay, questions in the past tense. Very good, Maria. Uh, yes, Nudia? The same. Okay, the same. Very good. Can somebody give me an example of uh, giving a question in the past tense? Who can give me an example of a question in the past tense? One example. I worked every day. No, I worked all day. Ah, okay. That's a affirmative sentence. Very good. I worked all day. And then I can say, um, what did you, did you do? What did you do? At work. Okay. What did you do at work? Okay. Another question from the simple past. For example, what did you eat for? Dinner last night. What did you eat for dinner last night? Another question in the simple past. Another question in the simple past. What did you do at the morning? Very good, Andrea. What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? Excellent. Good example. Another example. When, uh, when did you study at college? Oh, very good. When did you go?
go to college. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome, welcome. Kenya, Roxana, welcome, welcome. Another example. Another example. With double expressions or like, did you eat? Oh, that's good. Any, any, any simple past. Any simple past. Um, did you eat already? Okay, good. Did you eat already? Good question. Another example. Simple pass. When did you start? When, uh, when did you start to study English? Good. When did you start? Studying English. Awesome. All right. Another example. Uh, how do you say, a donde fuiste en las vacaciones um, agostinas? Where did you go? Where did you go on uh, your on last on the last vacation? Very good. Where did you go on your last vacation? Excellent. Another question. How do you say que hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Que hiciste. What did, what did you do last weekend? Very good. What did you do last weekend? How do you say, eh, how do you say, que almorzaste hoy? What did you eat at, you at lunch? lunch? Very good. What did you have for lunch? Um, how do you say, ¿Qué compraste el sábado en el super? What, what did you, did you, do? What shop. Did you shop in the mall? Did you buy? Very buy. good. What did you buy? Uh, what did you buy? At the, the grocery store on Saturday. Okay, good, good. Uh, how do you say, con quien la pasaste la Navidad anterior? Who? Oh. Christmas? Who did you spend your last Christmas with? Very good. Who did you spend your last Christmas with? Excellent. All right, everybody listen and repeat. What did you do at work? What did you do at what work? Do do at everybody, 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 everybody. One more time. What, what did what you do did at you work? Do at work? What did you do at what work? What did you do at work? What did you eat for dinner last night? What, what, did, you what did you eat for, for dinner, dinner last, last, night? Night. last night? What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? What did you do this morning? When did you go to college? When did you go to when college? When did you go to college? Did you eat already? Did you, did you eat, eat already? already? Did you eat already? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. So sorry. <laughs> it's late. Um, yeah. When did you start studying English? When did you when start, you start, you start studying, English? studying English? Where did you go on your last vacation? 
When, when where did you go, did you go on your last vacation? Vacation. vacation? What did you do last weekend? What did you do what last weekend? What did you do last weekend? What did you have for lunch? What did you have, did for, you lunch? have for lunch? What did you buy at the grocery store on Saturday? What did you, you buy at the grocery store on Saturday? Who did you spend your last Christmas with? All right, let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Two volunteers. No, 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 no. Only two. Only two. <laughs> All right, Luis. Good job, Luis. Excellent. Okay, Luis and Andrea. Uh, Luis, I want you to ask the question. And Andrea, I want you to respond to the question. Only one. Um, select five. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Hi, hi, Luis. Did you eat already? No. Uh, no, no, I, I know. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. No. Yeah, five questions. You can select five questions. Oh, okay. Whatever no, five no. questions. Yeah, only five. Okay. Uh, Andrea, what did you do last weekend? I got to San Salvador with my mom. Are so... we going to say I go or I went? Went. I ah, I went. Uh -huh. I went to San Salvador with my mom. Simple pass. I went shopping. <laughs> okay. I went. Um. Uh, what did you do at work? I don't work. <laughs> nice. Uh, the life of the rich and famous. <laughs> It's it's cute. Uh, it's the good life. No, it's a good life. No, it's a good life. I study. <laughs> okay. When did you start studying English? I started to study English in January. I I think. <laughs> oh, you are on fire. On January. <laughs> Uh, what did you do? Sorry, what did you buy at the grocery store on Saturday? On Saturday, I I bought two paper to my my to for I no, no sé cómo decir para mis manualidades, pero ajá. Ah, uh, uh, manualidades. Who can tell me how do you say manuali? Ah, handcrafts. Very good. Handcrafts. Handcrafts. Hand uh, for my handcrafts. Um, and. Handcrafts. Handcrafts. Hand what did you do for handcrafts? I I make uh, boxes. Uh, decorate gift boxes. Box. I have gift boxes. And okay. flowers and and models, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> models. Models, models. 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 All right. Models. Mm -hmm. Any more? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. This is just a, a review of the uh, activities that we were looking at in yesterday's class. Uh, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about this topic? Any questions about this topic? Somebody? Anybody?
Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You can ask me the questions. No? You got it? Okay. I don't know right. any questions. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and take a look at the next activity on the platform. In yesterday's class, we were working from this exercise over here, uh, which is the video on section 1.4, simple past statements with the be verb. So today we're gonna get started with the next section, which is this section over here. So we got uh, instructions, read each exercise and choose the best answer. Let me have one volunteer, number one. Which is the correct use? One volunteer. One volunteer. Yes, he was born in Spain. Andrea, very good. He was born in Spain. Excellent. Number two, another volunteer. Another volunteer. My parents were in France. My parents were in France. Excellent. Excellent. Number three, another volunteer. Number three. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. I, I wasn't was... born in Peru. Excellent. I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Number four, another volunteer. I want everybody to participate. My wife and I. I, I want to see were, everybody were, participating. Everybody participating. My wife and my I wife and... were in Mexico. Very good. My wife and I were in Mexico. The last one, number five. English quiz was a little difficult. Excellent, excellent. The English quiz was a little difficult. Good job. Does anybody have any questions at this moment about this exercise or about this activity? Any questions, guys? Anybody? No, okay. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. For the next one, it says over here, build English conversational skills with this lesson on past tense questions. Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you'll be able, were you born in this city? Where were you born? When were you born? And how old were you when you came to this country? By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to ask and answer yes or no questions and what question, WH questions, using was and were. Eh, creo que alguien tiene la televisión fuerte por ahí. Si puede poner su micrófono en silencio. Gracias, María Delmi. All right, let's go ahead. And we're looking at simple past questions with B. Listen, please. Listen, please. Simple past questions. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer yes and no questions and WH questions using the verb to be in the past. For example, you'll be able to ask the following questions. Were you born in this city? When were you born? Where were you born? 
So we're going to try to make sense of these two questions that you see there on the left. Where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires? And the first thing that um, I want to point out is the following, that we're still going to continue to follow that uh, rule that we learned in our previous lesson, which was that we're going to follow the verb. Okay. So, ojo aquí, ojo, right here. Notice that el was is going to be used with it, she, he, y I. Solo estos. And were is going to be used with they, you, and we. Right? So, remember that. These are the pronouns for the third person singular, third person singular. And this is for the first person and for the plural, plural. You understand? Yes. Questions, questions, yes, questions? I get. Okay, let's yes. get, okay. Let's continue. Verb to be, either was or where, depending on the pronoun. So if I talk about I, he, she, or it, then the verb to be that we'll use will be was. And whenever we talk about the pronouns, we, you, or they, the verb to be that we're going to use will be where. Any questions? Okay, give me one example. Give me one example, Byron. One example with was in the question. Okay. Um, how was the weather yesterday? Very good. How was the weather yesterday? Okay, I want you to give me an example of was with one of the pronouns from the video, one of these pronouns. I, he, mm. she, or it. Uh, it, it was raining yesterday. Maria Delmi, okay, no. It was raining yesterday. Uh, no, I want a question. One question oh, okay. with was using I, he, she, or it. Somebody, okay. somebody, one volunteer. Was he sleeping? Very good, Nuria. Was he sleeping? Excellent. Was, was he sleeping? Very good. Thank you, Nuria. Another volunteer, another volunteer. No, 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 only one, only one. Why are you very nervous? Very good. Why are you very nervous? Okay, pero ahorita solo con was y were. Give me an example with were. Por eso es were you very nervous? Oh, were you very ah, es como nervous? Estabas muy nervioso. Okay, good job. Were you very nervous? Were you very nervous? Excellent. Or you could say, why were you very nervous? Good job. Both are good. OK, thank you. Another example. Another example. Somebody. Were they living in El Salvador? Were they living in El Salvador? Good. Were they living in El Salvador? Beautiful El Salvador. Excellent. Okay. 
Uh, I see that you guys pretty much understand this topic. It doesn't look like a difficult topic. Do you have a question right now uh, referring to this topic or a question about vocabulary or how to ask something? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Nobody? You got it? No, I think that everything is clear. Okay. Let's go ahead and move forward. And we're going to look at the next part. Now, let's try to make sense of the different types of questions that we have. First of all, we're going to talk about yes or no questions. And that will be the second one that you see there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make sense of that question, and then we're going to practice making a few. So um, let me start by writing down a formula. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to include will be the verb to be. And I'm going to go ahead and color this in, let's say, uh, green. I'm going to go ahead and color this subject in, let's say, red. And the complement, I'm going to go ahead and color that in something um, different. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I'm going to go ahead and use blue this time, right? Um, and so let's do the following. Uh, let me uh, write down uh, the uh, uh, the verb to be here, and then this is going to follow the subject. And after this, this will follow the complement. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the colors there. Okay. All right, there we go. So in order for us to make questions in the past using the verb to be, what we're going to do is we're going to use the verb to be in the past, either was or where. And I mentioned that we need to recall uh, this rule that we learned in our previous lesson in order to understand that. Then this follows the subject. And then this will follow whatever complement that you want to ask. So if you look at our example here, were you born in Buenos Aires? And the answer to this question will be, yes, I was. That will be the short answer. Um, and the negative response will be, no, I wasn't. And of course, this will vary depending on the pronoun. Let's say that I changed the subject now. And let's say that now I want to ask about he. So how are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we need to recall that whenever we use the pronoun he, we're going to use the verb to be was. So therefore, we'll say, was he born in China? And of course, we also need to recall that um, here we can um, use names instead of the pronoun. So was Mary born in China? Was Peter born in China, etc.? So what I want to do now is I want to talk about creating WH questions. And in order for us to create WH questions, we're pretty much are going to follow the same pattern. So as you can see, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this previous rule here. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a little break from the video. I need to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present uh, let me have andrea dayanara present present good job let me see what's this present andrea esmeralda andrea. Teacher. excellent Angel Isaac. Present. Good job. Byron Giovanni. Yeah, Present. Thank you. Dennis. Dennis Adonai. Absent. Okay. 
Hailing, Lorena. Hailing, Lorena. Absent. Okay. Catherine, Joanna. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Kenya, Roxana. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya, Yamilet. Present. Good job. Uh, Luis, Miguel. Present teacher. Awesome. Maria, Delmi. I'm here. Perfect. Martin de Jesus. Martin de Jesus. Absent. Okay. Moises Giovanni. Moises Giovanni. Absent. Nayeli. Present. Excellent. Thank you, Nayeli. All right. All right, it's Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Eh, Martin levantó la mano. Okay, gracias. Uh, ok, guys, eh, si ve que su compañero levanta la mano, así como hizo el compañero Martín, eh, si me pueden avisar, por favor, yo no estoy viendo esta pantalla eh, donde están ustedes, yo estoy viendo esta pantalla. So, si levanta Teacher, la mano. Hailin, esto, esto estoy viendo. Hailin, yo, Lorena. Esto estoy viendo yo, guys. So, si usted ve que el compañero levantó la mano o escribió en el chat, yo no lo voy a ver. Yo estoy viendo acá. So, uh, me, me deja saber, por favor. So, aquí vi que okay. Martín levantó. Ay, Lorena escribió en el, en el chat. Perdón. Ah, Hailey Lorena ah, en el chat. No me agarra el micrófono, sorry, Hailey. Ok, gracias. La vamos a poner presente a Hailey. Y el muchacho era Martín de Jesús. Estaba presente también. All right. Ok, vamos a confirmar. Um, Denise Adonay is absent, right? Denis Adonai absent, ok. Y vamos a confirmar también. Moisés Giovanni is absent también, right? Moisés Giovanni está absent también. Ok, good. All right, let's go. The next one is Nuria. Present. Awesome. Rebecca. Present teacher. Good job. Cindy. Here. Excellent. Okay, guys. Let's go ahead and move forward. We finished the uh, attendance. So we have good attendance. Uh, at this moment, do you have any questions? Any questions at this moment? Questions, questions. Somebody, somebody. Okay, let's move forward then. And the only difference that we're gonna have in creating WH questions is that I'm gonna write some sort of WH word. And what are those WH words? Well, you can see the example that we have on this little chart. We're going to use WH words such as where, who, what, when, why, etc. That's what we mean by uh, WH words. And so that is what's going to um, be included at the very beginning. 
and everything else will pretty much stay the same. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color um, this differently just to make sure that we know what's happening there. So let me do that right now. Okay, there we go. So we're going to have some sort of WH word, and then that's going to follow the verb to be in the past. Uh, then it's going to follow the subject and then whatever complement that exists. So if we look at our example, where were you born? Right. So there we're, let me write the same one there, where the verb to be, oops, and then this is going to follow the subject. And then uh, whatever complement. And then we have ourselves a WH question. And WH question simply means information questions, if you will. Also, if you want to look at them that way. What I would like for you to do now is to practice the concept that we just learned. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post some questions here for you. And I would like for you to answer these questions and come up with as many others that you possibly can. Try to make those yes or no questions or WH questions. Now, for this activity, what you're going to do is I want you to come over here where it says knowledge check 1.8. Knowledge check 1.8. And you are going to complete this activity in pairs. Any questions at this moment? Okay. We're going to go to the breakout rooms, and I would like for you to share your screen. One student can share your screen. Ready? Let's go. You have to click where it says Entrar or Join. Uh, we can have Kenya, Roxana, I me quedé afuera. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, you, you can work with uh, Eileen Lorena and Catherine Calzadilla. Ah, okay. Kenya. Let me see. Kenya, Kenya Roxana. Okay, we're going to put you in number two. Okay, mira si le llego. Hailene, can you hear me? Hello, Hailene. Hailene, can you hear me? you favorite favorite subject in school mm -hmm. that's i think that is that what were you okay were you which is the correct how many was peter born mm. when was peter born where was is was where was peter born mm -hmm. oh. where was yeah right Mm -hmm. June, I was 15 year old. I was. I was. How old were you? In. I think that is that, but I don't know. Were in the you... second? The second. Right. Mm -hmm. How mm -hmm. old are you in. I did not know. That. Oh. Two bars. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You bore where she in this? Mm -hmm. Where oh, was where? the telephone? Uh, okay. Which, how many was? Uh, where you bore in this city? Mm -hmm. When was Peter born? The I second. Is, is, the second. Mm -hmm. The second is the answer. When was Peter born? No, in the fourth. Uh -huh. But the, the second. In the question four, which is correct? Which is the correct? Mm -hmm. When was Peter born? Mm -hmm. The second. When answer. was Peter born? And second. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is. Born you. Where you born in the city? Mm -hmm. Where you born? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Okay. Uh, only this. Yes, only that. Only. That. Okay, now. And that's it. <laughs> I think that we should back. Ayer intenté regresarme y se me cortó. No sé cómo podía hacer. What are you serious? Hi. Hey. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Who can give me the answer for number one? Which option is correct, number one? Which option is correct, number one? Eh, Rebecca. Go ahead, Rebecca. Number one, yes, I was. Yes, I was. Does everybody agree? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, I was. Yes, I were. No, I were. Yes, I was. That's correct. Okay, number two. The... The correct is the third option. Were you born in this city? Very good. Were you born in this city? Excellent. Number three. Number what three. were your favorite, favorite subject in the school? What was your favorite subject in school? Is what? What were? Oh, it's plural subjects. What were okay. your favorite subjects in school? Got it. Number four. When was Peter born? When was Peter born? Very good. Number five. How old were you in 1999? Excellent. How old were you in 1999? Excellent. Good job. Any questions? Any questions? Vocabulary, pronunciation, anything? Questions? The pronunciation of 1999. <laughs> ah, okay. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Uh, 1999. 1999. One more time. Mm -hmm. 1999. 1999. Excellent. Thanks. Excellent. Uh, okay. Teacher. Hi. Yeah. Uh, uh, 1000. I'm sorry. Repeat. 1099. Oh, very good. 1,099. Correct. It's okay. 
Uh, for years, no. Not for no. years. Okay. Yeah. For years, we say 1999. 1990. 1995. Okay. Uh, we're going to look at section number 1.9. Section 1.9. It built English conversational skills with the phrase used to, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspaper every day. An oral English comprehension exercise is included. All right. Let's look at the video and listen. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to. Something that you can do, guys, to uh, help you uh, practice your pronunciation skills is you can repeat the video, right? For example, he says, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll, be able, this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits. Your childhood using, habits. Used let me give you a couple of examples. Let me give you a couple of examples. I used to be very messy. I used to be very messy. But now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies. I used to have a lot of hobbies. But now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to. Do you understand? Yes, I got it. Uh huh. So this is an activity. This is an activity that that you can do in your free time, whenever you don't have anything to do. Uh, instead of putting a show in Spanish, you can put the video and then you can practice the pronunciation. Uh, that's going to help you to develop fluency. It's going to help you develop pronunciation. Uh, it's going to help you with the listening. It's going to help you a lot. So whenever you get a chance in your home, you can Repeat the audio, and that's going to help you. Let's do it together right now. Everybody, listen and repeat. Ready, go. Hi, everyone. Hi, By everyone. the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your class. childhood habits. Childhood using, habits. Used to. So if you want to uh, slow it down, you can go over here, 0.75x, or normal. This is normal. Let me give you a couple of examples. Let me give you a couple of examples. And here is slow. When I was a kid. When I was a kid. When I was a kid. All right. Listen, please. And repeat. Listen and repeat. Everybody. I used to be very messy, but everybody. now I'm very neat. Everybody. Everybody. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I, used to have a lot of I, I didn't used to, used to follow have politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Everybody, everybody. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give more details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used. And after that, I'm going to start explaining how to 
structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later, I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. Very messy, but uh, now um, very neat. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm. So the subject in our sentence is I. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors right now. Uh, this follows used to. And then we have the verb to be. Now, this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example, but it's not always going to be the verb to be. And then finally, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there. And so now let's try to make a couple of more examples. So I'm going to mention some of my own. So I used to, and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid. Um, and well, we follow the structure. Um, we have a subject. Then this follows used to. Then we have the verb in the present tense. And then we have some sort of complement at the end. Now let me present the negative structure. Let me present how we're going to make negative statements. So previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to. Now we're going to talk about negative statements. The only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't. All right, so that's what I want you to notice. And also, I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past. Now it's going to be in the present, and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here. So we're going to have the subject plus didn't, and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present, and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say, I didn't used to collect anything, but 
I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Did you used to have a pet? Did you used to play video games? And also mention the things that you didn't used to do when you were a child. So for example, I never used to uh. collect anything. Okay, guys. So for this exercise, what you're basically doing is you're expressing things that you used to do that you don't do anymore. Um, who can give me an example of something that they used to do in the past that now they don't do anymore? Give me one example. I used to do exercise. <laughs> ah, okay. I used to exercise. Uh huh. Okay, you could say I used to exercise, uh, but now, but, uh huh, but now I'm taking a rest. <laughs> All right, but now I am resting. Good, excellent. Okay, who can give me another example? I never, I never used play video games, but now yes. Okay, good. I never used to play video games, but now I do. Excellent. Another example. Another example, somebody. I used to, I used to, to read the new papers to see in the news. I used to read the news first to read the news. Excellent. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, stop right here. It's already almost time to go. Who can tell me what information you learned in today's class? ¿Qué aprendió en la clase de hoy? We learned about the past and uh, about how to use used to. Can you give me an example? About used to? Yes. Mm, well, I didn't used to watch movies, but now I love to watch movies. Excellent. Good, good, Nadia. Another example. Somebody else, give me one more example. Andrea. Um, Andrea da Dayanara. I never used to exercise, but I start last week. Hey, I'm so happy to hear that. That's awesome. Thanks. Are you going to the gym or are you exercising in the park? To the gym. 
to the gym. Okay, that's great. Hey, I'm happy for you. That's Thanks. The, that's the best decision you can do for your life. Thanks. Excellent. Okay, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and stop right here. I can see that some of you look hungry. Some of you look sleepy. Some of you look very tired. So I know it's been a, a long day, but we are finished. I am happy that we had a very good class. And I hope to see you all tomorrow. Good night, guys. Yeah, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night guys. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye.